the standard is to have some basic molecular profile beside basic immunochemistry and basic histology for every type of cancer. But as the disease, if disease goes to the progress, go to the metastatic stage, and we uh, stay without, uh, let's say, standard therapy options, then it makes sense to do a huge panel, not before. Absolutely correct. Okay, okay because... This is the message. Okay, because here in the developing countries, what I'm experiencing, uh, people are coming usually just with, uh, you know, macro and microscopic uh, information about tumor plus immunochemistry. And that's it. It's really, really not standard for, for all types of cancer to, to do uh, molecular uh, profiling, like, like, for example, in Austria. I don't know if you agree with me, but in today's time where we know that for at least, I don't know, 25, 30, the most common cancers, we have a druggable target with those yes. molecular parameters. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a, it's a major medical mistake not to do any molecular testing in, in, in new diagnosed tumors. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Yeah. I would just add one thing to what you have uh, summarized in a perfect fashion. If you are um, confronted with a very rare type of cancer. And there are situations with rare cancers that the optimal treatment or the guideline is not well defined. Then it makes sense to do the genetic profiling, even at, uh, also at diagnosis. Because mm -hmm. when you look for the optimal treatment, when the standard is not optimally defined, then it may be helpful. This is the, the only exception I would um, point out at the stage of a newly diagnosed patient.